Six feet, guys. Six feet, guys. Six feet.
I'm live. I'm live still. I'm live recording if you want to bring people to speak to the audience. Do you want to tell me what your statement was? Yeah. Let me stand over here. Let me turn, it, turn around with me. Yeah. Do a little dance. Yeah, sure. Um, what I no, no. Say if you can stand off the ledge, because yeah. I'm, I'm short. I want to stand here. There you go. You can be here if you want. Yeah. yeah. All right, so go ahead. What I wanted to say is, as everyone knows, pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, uh, Ethiopia, the pandemic COVID-19 killed uh, Every political opposition, no political opposition left in India except the ruling party. Uh, they jumped like uh, every leader. The internet? Yeah. It's loud out here. Uh, we buy, we in Soto, Christina by T-Mobile Park. They marched over here from Yesler. I'm finding out what's going on myself. I was just close by working and uh, saw this. What did you want to say? It's really loud. Uh, I'm going to stand pointing this way. Yeah, just so, just so we can hear you. You have to talk real loud. Okay. A lot of my friends do a lot of stuff, but I just want to know this protest is not just about Romans. They are about all the ethnic groups in that country who are subject to oppression, subject to mass arrest, all the kind of uh, uh, dictators that happen on their own. It's not just about Romans. It includes all the other marginalized groups. So it's about freedom to, to, to be the smaller group. So this, this demand includes all those people. Is there a hashtag? Yeah, hashtag Oromo protest, hashtag Hachalu, just as for Hachalu in this hashtag just as in Ethiopia, hashtag Stop arresting Oromo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Justice for a Romeo. Justice for a Romeo. Romeo is not for sale. You gotta talk real loud though. Adam. Romeo is not for sale. You mind taking your mask off? Freedom I trust you. We political prisoners. We demand freedom. I must go. I must go. No peace, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. You gotta talk louder. I'm walking away, it's too loud, they can't hear me. And my hands are full, I can't do nothing. It's running gunning, sorry y'all. But I'll, I will recap. Yeah, 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 let's try about here. Yeah, so this is a... Uh...
This is just a social, you know, what's happening back home in Ethiopia. Uh, first of all, they, first of all, uh, they disconnect, they shut up their internet, the whole, whole bunch of uh, communication. And uh, even the government themselves, they admitted to uh, about 166 deaths. It could be more, you know. Uh, it's been going on in history, they've been oppressing us for years after years. Uh, you know, they are arresting, killing journalists. Um, uh, and American citizens, somebody who's free over here, you go back there, they're all locked up, you know. Uh, this has been happening over for, for hundreds of years. And, it's enough is enough. You know, people had enough. They're trying to silence us. You know, they cut up all form of communication, so the world will not be aware of what's happening. But, and that's why we are here. You know, trying to work to make our voices. You know, this is just a. a, a it, it's too much. You know, people, innocent people, they're shed. Kids are dying, elderly. We are arresting our activists. Anybody uh, who's trying to. Uh, Speak up for you know, uh, the people that are affected by all, all, all this regime. Why do you think they're doing it? Why? Why are they doing that? This has been happening for a Okay, I can jump in on this one. Why are they doing what? Killing people over there? Why are they oppressing the people? Why are they oppressing the people? Okay. You guys probably don't know. Ethiopia is one of the countries that never been colonized in Africa. But today, it's worse. We'd rather be colonized than not than being colonized because we're not getting freedom of the speech over there. Our youth are getting killed. The U.S. government has taken funding. The thugs over there, they're not even a government. It's a regime over there. So the main point that all people are here today, we don't get freedom of speech. Our youth are getting jailed every day. Our political, our, our politicians are getting jailed. Okay, some of them are even our musicians, our stars are getting killed on the street from thugs by snipers. Somebody needs to look into this. And, uh, uh, is there some other questions that I can answer? The why? The why? <laughs> the why yeah. are they doing this? Yeah. To stay in the Okay? To the main power? Nearly 50% of the children yes, income yes, is a yes, fund. It comes from outside. Imagine 50%. Ethiopia, out of the 300 countries in the world, we are at the bottom 299. The poorest, no human rights, the most genocide. Okay? The people, you have to do this. My dad is protesting 20 years ago. I'm protesting 20 years ago. Now my kids are protesting. This is not right. Black lives matter. All lives matter. African lives matter. All people who are not here for this, we are asking for our God given God. We're not asking for anything more. Please, stop. So, yeah. Stop. Can you say something? Yeah. You have so, to speak nice and loud. Huh? What was that? You have to speak loud. Yeah. So, the audience, I'm, uh, when I'm talking uh, from the Oromo people, and I have no issue, no problem with, with Ethiopia as a country. And, I have been a supporter of uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed until today, until very soon. I still support him. He's such a great guy. He's a good leader. But things are looking shady right now. What did he do because, uh, today? Yeah, what he did was, for example, I know Jawar Mohammed. He's not my personal friend. I know what he stands for, his plan. I've never been a support. I've never stood behind Jawar Muhammad, but Jawar Muhammad and his fellow uh, supporter have the right to go ahead with the political vision and political plans. Supposed to be so, yeah. But so I mean, I my request or as my demand or our people's demand is to go ahead and continue Dr. Abiy Ahmed. The, our Prime Minister, to go ahead with what he promised. He said he believes no chance, no chance for that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He just won the law. No, he want to be liberty from Ethiopia. He want to be independent from Ethiopia. He don't want to be Ethiopia. We don't. He is a sinner. You are not part of this people. You are not part of this people.
Well, sounds like a little division. Looks familiar, sounds familiar. Say another day in America, we're back in Africa. Oro mia. Hashtag oro mia. Maybe we will find out together. My name, so you can spread it. Mm -hmm. Anthony Tackett. I'm alive when you're recording. Yeah, I am. But not I, this I, one. The one you're recording over there. Uh, yes. Please, you have to. Some something is not is not right. Yeah, we've talked about it. I, I've heard. Look up, look up my Facebook, Anthony Tackett. Anthony what? Anthony Tackett. Uh, a few of your mu community members have my Facebook. Okay, so they'll find you. I, I'm live right now. Okay, you're live. I'm here. Uh, what's that? Anthony Tackett. Tackett, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, so I need people who are higher level than us to help us because these are people who live in your own state that are in Ethiopia to know they're locked up in Ethiopia for Can you hold that for a sec? Thank you. You're recording. It's recording, so keep recording. Uh, if I'm a, uh, su uh, Suntuman Karakavane, uh, Bakadevi net to Devina, police of Timlin. Yes, there you go. You got this alive. This is the sign. Uh, again, thank you, King really? Five News. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, this is the sign. Uh, people are getting pressed by phone. Please stand up. Uh, Ethiopia government is the killer. 
Ethiopia going with the Dakila. Ethiopia going with the Dakila. We need justice in Ethiopia. We need justice in Ethiopia. Sorry, man. Oh, you're good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Yep. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hey, Tess. Can you hold this for me? Yes, sir. Or we can walk straight to your car. So I see they're still waiting for me. So yeah, I want to do a quick little commentary. So I was in the neighborhood. No, I, actually, yeah, why don't you just point straight right at them and try to steady and be all cool and stuff? Your editor will appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, I was uh, editing, and I looked out the window. <clears throat> I noticed there's a really big party outside, a protest. Uh, it looks like they're uh, trying to figure life out. And, uh, you know, they're getting oppressed over there in their nation. A genocide I haven't heard of. Hey, speaking of which, go to the other side of life. And we have our boys in blue. Our car is right here. Yeah. We had to get permission to go to our car. It's crazy. They shut down the street. How many cops you got today? Blue squad in the house. Fans of Watchmen. Whew. Look at me. If Tessa wasn't here, they would have tackled me trying to get to my car because I don't have credentials to be on this block. Let's get the F out of here. So yeah, as we fight one oppression, we run into another oppression. Uh, it just seems all too connected. I'll let you guys connect dots and shit. Go look up the people that were standing up here, the Oromia, uh, some form of genocide, They've been for over hundreds of years. Uh, hundreds of years of genocide, which is cray, 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 cray. Also, you know, there's more to it. I don't want to, like, pick sides and generalize. And I'm taking all this shit in. This first time hearing about a genocide in Ethiopia. Wow. So let's figure that out. What's happening? Who's Who are the strings on this thing? We know how, we know who controls Africa. What they doing in Ethiopia? Yeah. Cray, cray. I'm going to hit the road, guys. Pay attention to our correspondents. They're out there. Uh, yeah. 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 May God bless you. May God bless you. To the Supreme. Mwah.